Hi guys, welcome to this SSD. It's with the latest Endeavor ISO that I've installed this um, solid state disk. And of course, as you see, I ran my Artmax Nemesis script like in the video, the previous video you'll see, you will find on the YouTube channel. And then left WM with the Arch Linux 3 tool, Control Alt E, right? It's still it's, it's still there, all the keyboard shortcuts, they're all there, all the applications, they're all there. And we start with Arch Linux, Endeavor OS, and then the rest. Okay, um, thing I wanted to show is maybe you'd like to experiment together with us. In the back here, um, I have two machines with NVIDIA card. They require the sudo pacman minus s NVIDIA driver. So this one he likes, but since there are always new kernels and all that, and um, we update and we play around with Linux, Linux LTS, Linux N, Linux hardened, we need the DKMS, right? So, I don't know, maybe half a year ago or something like that, we decided let's not um, use the NVIDIA, because if there's an update of Linux and there's no update of NVIDIA, this machine crashes in the sense that you get the back screen and you need to shroot into it again or TTY into it and change things. But with NVIDIA DKMS on your machine, every time there is a kernel coming in, it's gonna rebuild it, the NVIDIA. So you never have a black screen. So that's a plus. So that's why we went for DKMS. Now, what we've done recently, like a week ago or something, right, is, uh, adding something to our personal repos and that's the Xen mod or the Xen mod edge with the headers or the LTS and so three Linux Xen mod choices and by way of experimenting I always say try and error right uh, just try it and it works Linux Xen mod works with my NVIDIA card, so 2000 something, and the other one is an older one. So I would just say, if you are apt in TTY and you know how to arch root, why not try Linux XenMod? And I just had the idea this morning, why not try Linux XenMod Edge on Endeavor OS? Now, if you are the kind of guy that says, I wanna have VirtualBox, I wanna have all kind of things, why not immediately say, and then avoid an error later on. The headers, don't forget the headers. Voila, so it's coming from the Arcanix repo extra large. It's near 100 megabyte. And this is your DKMS kicking in, you see? But this has no NVIDIA machine, this is not NVIDIA at all, it's pure um, Intel, so there will be no issue whatsoever, but it's only the guys who have NVIDIA on their machine that might run into issues. That's what they say on zenmod.org. So have a look at the website, see what they say. Now in my case, Broadcom WM, I don't have that. So sudo pacman minus remove Broadcom WKKMS. You're out, right? That's just to have more support for people. And the VBOX, yeah, the VBOX I need, right? The virtual box is something I need. So we're now on Edge. If I reboot and I'll, well, trust me, it's gonna be reboot. Uh, and then, oh, I'll keep around, keep using this kernel for the coming weeks. All right, cheers.